So this morning, I'm in the Hunter Valley, which uh, you might or might not know. It's an Australian wine region. It's about, I'd say, two and a half hours northwest of Sydney, depending how fast you drive. I've been quite cautious <laughs> because it's on the left side of the street here. Um, and I'm sitting here with uh, Gwyn Olson, who's the winemaker at Briar Ridge Wines Winery. Um, and these are the one of their lovely uh, ranges of wines, but um, I thought we'd talk a little bit about the Hunter Valley and what sets it apart from other Australian wine regions and what sort of wines you make here and people can look for. So, I'll let you take it away. You just gave me a little fun fact about the Hunter Valley, which is that. So the Hunter Valley is Australia's first and oldest wine region in Australia. And the great thing about the Hunter is, I suppose, that sense of history and that sense of place that we have uh, vineyards that were planted in the late 30s and early 40s in Australia, both Shiraz, Semillon and Pinot Noir even, which really make this place iconic from a quality of landmark Australian Shiraz and also Australian Semillon. So that might be a little bit of a surprise that some of Australia's most famous Shirazes actually come from here, whereas we get a lot from the Barossa in the United States. Is there something that sets them a little bit apart from those that you find in other areas in Australia? For sure. I mean, I'm completely biased and of course I think that <laughs> Hunter Valley Shiraz is the best Shiraz in Australia. Um, and the reason why I think that is, is just how drinkable and our medium bodied style of wines that we make here. So our wines tend to be a little bit more savoury, they're a little bit more finely grained in their tannins and they're uh, that m lovely medium bodied drinking style which works so much better when you're trying to enjoy it with food that it sort of works alongside the actual food rather than being the showstopper and overtaking the food. Mm. And well and so the other uh, major variety that I at least knew of before I came here is Semillon which we don't get a lot of in the United States. It's very famous in some white Bordeaux blends, um, along with uh, Sauvignon Blanc, but why do you make that here? I, I think it was literally just that it was a great variety that ripens well in the heat. Um, they certainly weren't thinking about the average rainfall in the Hunter Valley when they planted Semillon, a thin-skinned white variety <laughs> in the highest average rainfall region in Australia. Um, makes it a little bit more of a challenge to make good Semillon here. But I think they that was just the white grape variety that was available to them when they started planting the Hunter. And since then it's become one of those iconic Hunter Valley styles where Hunter Valley means Semillon and Shiraz, and that is the thing that captivates the world about Semillon, and in particular the Hunter, and that's what we really focus on when we look to promote our little valley. Right, well, so we're in the um, mountain view section of the Hunter Valley, which is a little bit higher elevation, a little bit cooler temperatures and sandier soil. So, for instance, in your Semillon, which I believe is right here, mm -hmm. um, what are some of the notes that that brings out in the wine? For sure. So our single vineyard, Dairy Hill Semillon, to me tends to be a little bit more of a fined lime semillon compared to the greater Colbert ones. When I look at our semillon, I see things like kaffir lime leaf, lemongrass, a lovely sort of fine porcelain-like acidity that really sort of carries the whole palate through. And so do some of those notes, what make it good for like Asian food, let's say, or what, what, would, what would be your ideal dish to eat with this? Being, being a quintessential Australian, I'm going to say <laughs> fresh seafood, mm. hands down anytime. I love freshly shucked oysters and with that lovely sort of zesty aromatic profile of the semillon, even just actually pouring it in your oyster shell and throwing back the whole oyster with the semillon is absolutely delicious. But any fresh seafood and that sort of really lively, fresh, little bit salty food works really, really oh, well. Oh, I love that idea of uh, just sort of like drinking it right out of the shell. Right okay. Of the well, we've been drinking out of glasses, but I'm going to see we're going to expand <laughs> on that idea off camera and see what other interesting receptacles we can drink wine out of. <laughs> Most definitely. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thanks for stopping by.